Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our Fixed Perspective Scroller. Today we're going to fix some of the things we did in the past. We have an attack functioning right now, but we had a problem where our mummy was being hit by our player and then it's getting more and more damage every time we attack it. So we're going to fix that right now. And what we want to change is not in our enemy controller. The problem lies on our player. And it's because we are adding the enemy into our enemies in range list every time we attack it, but we are not removing it from that list. So on the next attack, in our for each loop, it's going to find it twice. So it's going to make the, the enemy get hit twice. So we want to make sure that we clear the list before we attack. So we get the, the list here and get enemies in range. So before we do that, we want to, we could just clean it inside here. So before we assign all the enemies to our list, we want to get enemies in range dot clear. This will remove all the elements from within our list. So that should fix the problem that makes our mummy get hit more and more over time so now we attack and we see the mummy is out of nine health and then 32 and now 23 and we should keep going like that so that's how you fix it and another thing i want to do is that if you realize now when we play and we try to move we cannot move actually and that's because we set this variable private bo boolean can move but we haven't make it true on start or on awake so if you do this now we should be able to move when we start and there you go we have this little guy and now what we want to do is that when the current health goes to zero or below zero we want this guy to trigger its killed animation drop some loot and give us give us some experience Okay, so first of all, let's give it some uh, experience granted. I uh, think the mummy will give us 10 experience. Wait, this is a little bit hot in here. I'm going to turn on the fan. The perils of living in Hong Kong is so hot in here, even though we're not in summer anymore. Okay, so uh, we give it some experience. And now we are here in the enemy controller. We need to create a die function. So this is going to be private so we just type void die because we are going to call this function from within this script every time we get hit we're going to check for the health and if the health is less than zero we will die so we need to check this after we apply the damage otherwise we will make our enemy die one hit too late so if current health is less or equal than zero then we will die okay i mean the mummy will die not us hopefully first i'm gonna make a boolean call dead or we could have a boolean call alive i don't know whatever you prefer and here we're going to turn dead into true okay so whenever we die we are dead yeah <laughs> anyway dead equals true and what else we want to drop loot so we're going to have a function called drop loot okay and we're going to make this function later but right now we're going to get the bounty if dead return because once we're dead we don't want to get hit unless you want to have like a very sadistic game where you can hit the dead bodies like metal gear or something like that <laughs> but if you don't want to do that then it's fine we can just check if we're dead and we will not run through this function so that is equals to true and we want to set the animation so animation dot set integer and i remember i was set integer is for that for the dead animation is uh number four because you know four means dead in 
in Chinese and in Japanese and in some other Asian cultures. Anyway, this will depend on your game design. I want the dead body of my enemy to disappear after a couple seconds. So I'm going to do game object dot destroy and I want to point at this game object, this dot game object and the time will be maybe five seconds. So we can try this. Actually, let's see if we play and we go and kill our enemy die so now it's 41 32 23 let me increase my attack speed uh, this I want very fast attack speed and mm, they didn't die why why you do this to me oh okay it died but it just didn't trigger the animation so it called the function die did we get the bounty Okay, let's try this again, and I want to inspect the mummy while I do it. So the mummy animator is here. We have the death animation. For the death animation, we set the condition equals to 4. So let's try this again. Go here. Attack. 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 And is it going to die anytime soon? Not yet. Die. Not yet. One more. We die. Do we have? Okay, I know what's happening. So when we die, we still call this call routine, but we don't want that. When we die, we want to stop this function. So how we do that? We just call return. So after we die, we need to return. So we will not recover from heat, which is setting our animation back to zero. And we didn't drop the loot, so we want to die we want this we want to drop loot I forgot that and I'm going to change my player attack speed because right now he's a noob and he's his attack speed is very low I want two attacks per second so let's go we go find our first enemy and let's kill it one two three and and we have an error what the hell okay <laughs> Let's not get too carried away. We still have plenty of bugs that we need to fix, so let's take it easy. One attack, two attacks, three attacks, and let me check my mummy. Current health, 14, 5, and die. Yeah, it died. It died it. So, and then it disappeared. And did we get the bounty? Yeah, we got the bounty. So now we can kill, we can actually kill our enemy. And we need to give us the experience so we will do that from the player controller so in the player controller we are going to make a function called get experience and we're going to make it public and that game experience get experience function I don't think it should be in combat I think it should be in a new region that we're going to name later with experience money and all those things so I'm going to make a public void get experience Experience. I think that's how you spell it. Sorry, not a native English speaker. And get experience. We're going to give it a parameter, float or an integer, whatever you like to use in your game. I'm going to call it exp. Do we have a boolean for our total, or sorry, a float for storing our experience? Not. We don't. So right here, I'm going to type float let's make it public so we can see it but later we will need to make it private uh, public float experience okay and then we need to make a curve for leveling up with the experience we obtain so experience we are going to add it here so experience plus equal to exp so we just want to add this experience into our total experience Okay, so now we have to call this when we die. So when we die, we are going to get the player who killed us. So how do we get the player who killed us? Because maybe we have different players. Maybe the enemy got killed by a hazard or by another enemy that can have friendly fire or something like that. So we need to get the player who killed us. So when we get hit, we actually can know who called the function because this function is being called by the player controller 
so we can pass it here or what we can do mm, let me think okay right now we're not going to do this we're just going to find a player and give it to it we could give experience to all players if we have an array of players so for example we're playing with our friends in co-op mode we will get all the players and distribute the experience through them so um, let's make a we can make a list or we can make an array I'm gonna make I'm gonna use an array so let's do um, player control like this I'm gonna make it private Player controller uh, players and it's going to be just that and we're going to set it on start so players is equal to game object dot find game objects with tag and we are going to use the tag player so if we have one player these array is only going to have one player if we have many players it's going to find them all so we want to get our player and set the tag here we set the tag to player so now we 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 set this array to this and when we die we want to do a for each loop we're going to give the experience to all the players and we want to divide it by the amount of players for each player controller in oh, sorry uh, PC player controller in players we want to <clears throat> PC dot get e experience get experience and we want to give it the experience granted divided on players dot count no sorry not count length so this means if our players have four players we're going to divide this experience by the amount of players it will be harder a little bit to level up when you're playing with friends and some games actually it's not like they divide the experience half and half but they encourage players to play with more friends uh, by giving you more experience if you kill with more friends so for example if we have one player you get a hundred percent of the experience and if two players kill an enemy they will get 55 percent of the experience each so in total you got an extra 10 percent of the experience and we could implement that in the future but right now we're just going to do it like this hard mode oh yeah so we are going to do that and let's see how it works so we have a player and we have a compile error i think here unity game object so we cannot directly convert the this like that so I just change this to game object and this for each is a game object I'm going to call it go go dot get component player controller okay so clear and we play and now we can try it so let's go we have our player you see the experience we have zero experience so now we can kill this guy one two three four die die already and we got 10 experience and maybe we can level up or something you can make your own if statements for leveling up i'm going to make a curve someday a function to determine the experience required to level up but right now we we can kill our mommy i'm extremely happy about that <laughs> i realize we have a little bug here i can walk over my mommy and then i will not fall down so we have to fix that but besides that i think our game is going absolutely great i think um we need to increase the range of our sword a little bit but besides that oh no i'm flying away screw you gravity i don't need you <laughs> i think we're doing pretty well so thank you very much for watching guys i really enjoy making these videos and if you could like my videos and comment and share it to your friends i'll be extremely happy so thank you very much i will see you next time goodbye